The latest on a story we first brought to you last night. A San Luis Obispo police officer is on leave following an arrest over the weekend that was broadcast live on YouTube. Today, we're hearing from the person who took that video and an expert in police training. But first, let's get you up to speed and a warning. Some viewers may find the video disturbing to watch. Police say the initial call was for reports of a man dancing and yelling on the road on the 800 block of Froome Ranch Way. The video shows three officers trying to take a man on the ground into custody. As they struggle, the officers tell him to let go of the handcuffs. One of the officers warns him that he will be punched in the face if he doesn't let go. The officer then punches him. Police say they are investigating the arrest and use of force. KSBY News reporter Jacob Dizon has more. A video posted to YouTube by the channel Slow County Observer has raised questions about the San Luis Obispo Police Department's use of force. However, a retired excessive force expert in San Diego took a look at the video for himself and tells me there are additional factors to consider. As of Tuesday afternoon, the video uploaded by Slow County Observer has more than 17,000 views. I heard it on the scanner. Uh, it was a guy in the roadway uh, presenting a traffic hazard and I just wanted to document it. That's what I do. Gabriel is the person behind the Slow County Observer account. He did not want to use his last name in our interview. He says he's routinely present at local law enforcement incidents, taking video at the scene and uploading it to his YouTube channel. As a first-hand witness of this recent incident, Gabriel says he thinks the officers used excessive force. It was unnecessary. It seemed unnecessary, I think, with a little more patience from the officers. Uh, it wouldn't have had, he wouldn't have had to elbow him in the head a bunch of times. However, after viewing the video for himself, retired law enforcement officer and police training expert Paul Capitelli says there are other factors at hand. What they were dealing with was a person who was actively resisting. Uh, they were trying to get the handcuffs on him and he continued to resist. Capitelli tells me that during police training, cadets learn that whenever a person resists arrest and has an officer's handcuffs, the potential harm to officers become much more probable. The definition of uh, excessive force is when force continues once a situation is under control. And what I see in this video is that once the suspect was in handcuffs, all of the force stopped. He also says that key details are missing from the video uploaded by Slow County Observer, saying it's unclear what led up to multiple officers restraining the suspect since the video begins with him already on the ground. I started right there because that's when I could get the live stream going. I was just pulling up to the scene right at that time. Capitelli also says it would be beneficial to look into the histories of the officers involved to determine whether they had been involved in previous instances of excessive force. The San Luis Obispo Police Department tells me the officers involved also used body cameras at the time of the arrest and that footage will be reviewed during their internal investigation. In San Luis Obispo, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. We have submitted a Public Records Act request for the officer's body camera video and the officer's histories. Police say the suspect was treated at the hospital and medically cleared before being booked into the county jail.